Hello guys, welcome to Engineering Reports. I am reporter Mahesh Kumar from Civil Engineering Department. Hi, I am reporter Karthikeyan from Civil Engineering Department. Today, we are going to see about a natural disaster in Kerala in the year 2018, which is a massive destroy in Kerala, which happens in 2018 at the South Monsoon period. A small introduction about that uh, disaster in Kerala. Kerala is known for its monsoon, heavy rain monsoons, uh, experienced by an unprecedented disaster during the year 2008. Southwest monsoons of 2018 from the 8th August to the 18th August. Continuous heavy rainfall caused massive uh, flooding causes the state, uh, leading to 339 deaths and destructions of thousands of houses and displacement of over 1.5 million people to relief camp. Collapse of major infrastructures including roads, bridges and Kochi International Airports. An um, IMD report of this uh, Kerala disaster. The uh, usual ra rainfall of uh, Kerala uh, is uh, more excess in this uh, particular uh, disaster. Like uh, this uh, 2018 Kerala flood, there are a 96 percentage uh, excess uh, than the normal um, ra ra rainfall. Uh, then uh, there are uh, uh, the 331 landslides what happened and in that uh, 104 deaths of uh, people were uh, noted by the IMD reports and the total uh, damages houses were like uh, uh, 20,000 houses and uh, 1.5 billion people were changed their uh, na native places and lost their home uh, from the from the one place and migrate one place to the another place and uh, 225 boats were uh, damaged in this uh, Kerala disaster and the Kerala government has a huge economical lo loss of 8 lakh uh, in the power systems and uh, roads bridges were heavily damaged by this uh, Kerala uh, ra ra rainfall because uh, the many landslides was happened the Kerala is full of a ma mountain region and the soil like uh, they were uh, totally a loose state so this uh, rain rainfall creates a massive uh, impact in the Kerala economy and the people of our life. So in this disaster, all the 14 districts in Kerala were affected. Here is the report of districts which has a percentage of rainfall which is more than the normal rainfall. For Idiki, it is plus 180 percentage of extreme level rainfalls and Vayanadu 150 percentage of rainfall. Arapula 126 percentage of rainfall more than a normal, Ernakulam 148 percentage and Trizur 139, uh, Malapuram this 131 percentage, Kodi Kod 141 percentage, Kannur 135 percentage and Kollam 105 percentage, Palakkadu 120 percentage, then Thiruvananthapuram plus 85 percentages. Okay, let's see about the what are the reasons of this uh, Kerala disaster in uh, 2018. The first of all, the um, dam management issues. The Kerala government was uh, published an article after this uh, disaster. The main reason of this disaster, they are telling that about the dam issues because uh, the dam was not uh, properly ma maintained. Like a uh, big dam, like an uh, uh, Idiki dam, uh, which co contributes uh, more uh, number of storage of water in uh, Kerala and supplies uh, many water to the uh, Tamil Nadu as well as uh, Kerala also. This dam was uh, becoming very weak in that period and it was uh, totally demonstrated. Now it, it has re, re rebuilt it and it was to totally fine. But in that time in 2018, it was uh, it it was like in uh, half uh, issues. Uh, it created some issues in that uh, particular uh, 2018 period in the ma monsoon ra rainfall time. So it created a flood and it's make a huge loss. In that time, uh, in in the flood time, the dam was uh, totally da becoming weak. And I think uh, the article was telling that more than uh, 300... Geographical factors, uh, the uh, experts like uh, um, uh, engineers were t telling that this Kerala was fully under a um, uh, hilly region and the sand was a very loose and a very co cohesive sand. 
so this region uh, cannot contain uh, many water uh, so due to the deforestation also uh, this uh, uh, flood was happening because uh, the uh, many trees were cut in the uh, past 5 years uh, to 10 years in a kerala so it 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 make the soil it's very loose and it create the landslide and it also create some flood and the main the another reason of this flood was that the climatical change the long term climatical change in the kerala uh, in the last 100 years in last 100 years this flood is a massive climatical change more than 10 days of uh, rainfall was happening in this in this time uh, this is an, a report about an, um, Kerala uh, yeah, and the main factors that affect the uh, Kerala. So, what are the immediate response and rescue operations taken by the government of Kerala? Uh, SEOC, called Status, uh, State Emergency Operation Center, activate within 24 into 7 monitoring and door to door, door, -to -door alerts in high risk villages. IMD forecast and flood alerts circulated in TV, radios, SMS and public announcement systems. More than 1.4 million people excavated to 12,773 relief camps. Camp provided food, water, medicine, bedding and sanitation facilities. Some forces uh, actively involved in this rescue operations are NDRF, Indian Army, Navy, Air Forces, Coast Guard and Kerala Police deployed. Fisherman's voluntarily comes and as a rescue team played a key role using over 600 boats to rescue 65,000 plus people. Helicopter alerts for standard populations in inaccessible areas. Thank you. Let's see about the fund given by the different states to the Kerala government for this 2018 flood. The first of all, the Tamil Nadu giving and 10 crores of a rupees to the Kerala government. Next, the Karnataka government giving 50 crores as a fund relief for this Kerala government. And the Maharashtra government give 5 crores. Next, the Odisha government given 10 crores. Then the Gujarat government also giving 10 crores for this Kerala disaster. Next, the central government was giving more than 600 crores. And the Kerala government has announced the death uh, person's family uh, for each family rupees 4 lakhs and they are giving uh, many um, uh, scholarships to the students who lost their uh, family and who lost their certificates and who la lost their life. So uh, the Kerala government is giving uh, many uh, refunds and uh, money but the money cannot give us a uh, life. So, uh, the Kerala government hereafter must uh, giving a statement like uh, this uh, di disaster may not be happened uh, in a, in a f further future years. They have uh, not ma ma maintaining a proper uh, dams and uh, many of that. This uh, creating a major problem in this uh, disaster. So the Kerala government have uh, strictly uh, maintaining uh, rules and regulations of uh, replanting the plants and uh, not uh, digging uh, so much of uh, sand uh, from the very loose uh, sand area and uh, did not disturb the nature. Thank you. Oh, hi. Wait a minute. Who are you?